Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. I hope you guys are excited for this tutorial today because we are playing with affordable makeup from tools to skincare, the full makeup look, everything is affordable. Even this little scarf's affordable. You can find this at Target actually. It's been a while since I've done any purple or any kind of lilac on my channel. So I decided this is a good start to get back into color. During this quarantine, my makeup routine has been kind of a mess. Skincare has been on point, but makeup has been kind of a little crazy. I either do like a quick 10 minute look or I do a full, 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 full glam or I just do nothing. So I haven't really felt inspired to play with much to be honest with you guys and it's normal i think a lot of us can agree but i told myself snap out of it and i did and here i am guys lilac af so i want to continue doing more color but i need you guys to help on what color to do next so in the comments i am going to list three colors and i need you guys to go down there and like which color you want to see next the highest color will be in the next makeup tutorial that i do for you guys i'm excited for this tutorial i hope you guys are as well and with that being said let's go ahead and jump into the video so the first thing i'm going to do is go in with my brow product and today i'm going to be using the la girl brow pomade in the shade dark brown and i'm going to be also using this with the be bella ng356 angled brush i picked this up randomly one day at target was so impressed whoops as I was saying, just really impressed with the overall product, the wear time on it, how it applies on, the color, because it's dark brown. Some dark browns tend to run either like way too dark or they're really red. This one I felt was like that perfect dark brown, so I was really impressed with it. I'm just gonna apply this right like at the middle of my brow and work it around. My brows are currently a mess. I feel like everyone's brows are a mess right now. I haven't really done anything to them since I've been in quarantine other than some slight cleanup with like the really, really thick hair. But other than that, I'm just letting them grow out and be wild. This is currently my chance to grow my brows out as much as I can. So here is the side brow. As you guys saw, the product went on super easy, really easy to blend. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on this brow now, speed it up, but also give you guys a few tips and tricks on how to blend it out. So I always start towards the tail and end of my brow, and then from there, lightly start working towards the front. By doing this, the brow just looks a little bit more natural, a little bit more realistic. It's not so harsh. If there's one tip you can leave by this is to sketch the product on and never drag, never over apply, sketch, feather motions, remember that. And then also towards the front to create those super natural hair-like strokes that look like they're natural. And that's it, coffee break, yummy. I'm gonna go in now and do some brow cleanup and I'm gonna be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 16 along with the ColourPop brush. I thought this is important to mention this since I do wanna make sure the tools are also affordable. So this one is the ColourPop E20 and I've actually tested this out prior to using it and it is so comparable to the MAC 228 one that I have. So I'm gonna start this right in the middle of my eyebrow slash the tail of the eyebrow as you guys can see. And I'm doing really light stroking motions to kind of feather the product on this is not only going to clean up and brighten up my eyebrow but it's also gonna to have to hide all the stray hairs as well I'm also gonna be using the no filter concealer as a base on my eyelid because I actually don't have a drugstore slash affordable base oh my goodness I didn't see that I mean I did see that but I didn't stop myself and I'm gonna blend this out with the brush from real techniques I just kind of did it everywhere Next, I'm going to be going in with the ColourPop Lilac You A Lot Eyeshadow Palette. This, to me, is one of the best lilac eyeshadow palettes out there. First and foremost, price point is amazing. It is an affordable palette, but then the color scheme in here is perfect. So I'm excited to show you guys how it applies on. I'm going to start off first with the shade Ghost In. I'm applying this on with the Morphe M501 brush, which is a super, super large blending brush. And then from there, I'm gonna go right into the middle of my eye and then just blend out. This color looks bright, but it's actually really, really soft once applied on. So I'm just making this kind of my transition shade and the color that's gonna be on the outer crease of my eye. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Zoned Out and this one is so, so pretty, which is why I'm making it my lid shade because it really, really pops. Do you guys see what I mean? So now I'm gonna go in with the shade Fluff and Trainwreck and I'm gonna be adding this to the inner corner of my eye. But before I do that, I'm actually gonna pick up a little bit of concealer and that same brush I used for the base earlier. And I'm just going to clean up right here. So I'm doing this to ensure that there is no product that flew over here. I mentioned this in many videos, but in case you guys don't remember, sometimes shadow can actually fly and hit right here and it can create a shadow or like a little bit of a hollowness. So I always do my best to clean it up to ensure that it's nice and even and it looks clean. Otherwise, you're gonna end up having a little bit of darkness right there and it's gonna be hard to take off later. All right, so now I'm gonna be going in with the shade Fluff and Cloud. I'm gonna be mixing them together and then applying that to the inner corner of my eye. And now I'm grabbing a Morphe M506. And 
and then with the same brush, I'm grabbing onto the shade Cloud. And for that shade, I'm really just packing it over. Ooh. All right, so now that we got the shadow on, we're gonna go ahead and do a bomb ass wing liner using the Epic Ink Liner from NYX. I absolutely love this eyeliner right here, and I'm excited to show you guys how it goes on. If you guys have never used this eyeliner, be prepared to be impressed at how amazing this goes on. It glides on so nice, it's so rich in color, and it's super matte, which I really, really love, and it truly lasts. It is just an amazing eyeliner overall, definitely one to check out. What a coincidence, my mascara matches my eyeshadow and I did not plan that out. So this is the Maybelline Lash Lift. This is such a bomb, 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 bomb mascara. This mascara gives my lashes lots of length, lots of volume. It lifts them, but it also separates them as well. I'm really picky when it comes to the wand on here and find this one to just comb perfectly through each and every single one of them. So I start this at the bottom of my lash and then work my way up. Lashes look good. The sides of it look really good as well. The only thing is when I wear liquid liner, my lashes kind of disappear. So that's one of the reasons why I like to wear lashes with a look like this. And the falsies that I'm about to put you guys on are some of the best I have used in a really long time. They're foaming, meaning they're cruelty free. They are super full, super gorgeous, and six these are some of the best lashes in the game. Look at how beautiful these are. If you guys are curious to know my favorite styles, I love Daydream. This one is a short to long lash, very full, very pretty. I wear this quite often. Um, this one right here, Insta Famous. I love expensive for a very soft and natural lash. If you're somebody who likes them just a little longer, these are in the style T. They have so many lashes. Just keep in mind that it is their 3D filming because they do offer, I believe, silk and other ones, but these are some of the best. Give it a shot, you will not be disappointed. Um, I do think though, I am gonna wear Insta Famous today. These are everything. And also the band is like the biggest thing to me. It's such a light band. You honestly can't even feel them once they go on. So I always snip a little bit on the end, just like a very, very tiny bit. Look at just how beautiful these lashes are. And they're so full, yet so soft at the same time. So I think these will look even pretty without liner, like just a bare eye with them. I cannot get over these lashes, you guys. They are probably my favorite thing in the entire makeup look. Like I'm just obsessed. So, yay! Lashes are done. Next, we're gonna move into my complexion, and I'm super excited because, as you guys know, this is when everything starts coming together. It gets really exciting, and to me, complexion is everything, skincare is everything, and I find that so important for me to share that with you guys, how important it is to prep the skin before you get into your makeup, kind of take your time with it. So the first product is one that I have mentioned many times on my channel, and that is the Hydrating Milky Mist from Pixie. I am such a big fan of Pixie skincare. I think they have some of the best affordable skincare. Now it's not gonna be like two or three dollars for this kind of items. It's gonna be a little bit more in like the 15 to 20 dollar range, but trust me, their stuff is really, really good. So this is a mist that you can apply on any time of the day before the makeup, nighttime, whenever you just need that boost of hydration. It's gonna help soothe the skin, has hyaluronic acid so it's gonna plump the skin and also trap the moisture in there so you can stay hydrated and plumped all day long um, it also has a bunch of vitamins in here so it's really really great this is also a really really bomb product from them as well which is the glow tonic so it's pretty much like a toner but it does also have 5% glycolic acid so it is going to exfoliate and brighten up the skin as well as make it just look like brighter and healthier and all that good stuff so definitely check Pixie out. And now I'm gonna go in with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Moisturizer. This is a super, super lightweight moisturizer. As it is, it is gonna help to instantly hydrate the skin. It's gonna make it look smooth, feel supple, and just feel really nice and hydrated. It's also oil-free as well. And lastly for the primer, we're gonna be using an amazing primer that you guys probably know about, and that is the e.l.f. Portless Putty Primer. And I'm gonna be applying this on mainly to my T-zone area since this is the area where I do feel my pores are a little bit more enlarged. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on and then just kind of tap it into the skin. And I also love that it just grips onto my makeup so nicely. So I am a big, big fan of this one. So for foundation, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it was kind of a challenge to decide which one was going to be the foundation in today's makeup look. Cause I have four really, really good affordable ones. But I decided to go with one that I haven't used on camera, but I have used many times. It's really good. It's bomb. 
I think you guys are gonna like it. That is a Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect Foundation. So this is said to be a foundation and concealer in one, which I truly believe because it does have really great coverage. So I'm gonna show you guys how it goes on. For this, I'm gonna be going in with this Morphe brush. I think this was like a holiday one that they launched a while ago, but I'm gonna work the foundation into there. And just start blending. This is in the shade 6 Sand Beige. I am taking in a smaller brush for my forehead area just to even it out. I don't need too much coverage on here, but I do feel like I need just a little bit. So good for like the small to reach areas. Also, this is a medium to full coverage foundation. There is 45 shades available. So definitely think they have an amazing color range, which is so good. All right. I think we're good right there. I did add just a little bit more. My freckles are super dark right now because I've been in the sun more. Even with sunscreen, I feel like they still have gotten just like a little darker from being in the sun. So I do feel like I need a little bit more foundation right now. Anyways, let's get into some brightening. And you guys probably will not be shocked at the one I'm gonna use today. And that is the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer. And this is in the shade Medium Sand. I realized that I picked up the wrong one. It's a lot brighter, a little bit darker. But, oh my God, you guys, I just love this concealer so much. I hear so much on and off about it. Some people say it's really drying. Some have no issues with it. I truly think it's all about how you prep the skin, how you prep those under eyes. I did prep my under eyes off camera earlier today, so I do have eye cream on, but I work it one eye at a time, so I do this one on, I blend it out, and I also blend out with the e.l.f. concealer. This is another one you guys need to get. I find this to be the affordable tart shaped tape. They also have it in the hydrating formula as well, in case you guys want it to be a little bit more hydrating. But I love this concealer, it's bomb. The coverage is so good. The wear time, it doesn't move, it doesn't crack. It's just so good. I'm gonna go in on this one. Now I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. sponge and blend it out. This is something else that you guys need to add to your cart. I've read about this one many times and I have not gone back to anything else since I started using this. And I use this pretty much just to blend out my concealer, but also to set my powders. It works really great. Uh, really soft and spongy. Doesn't absorb too much makeup either. On top of that, it's also $6, which is nice. So it is really affordable. And next, I'm taking it in with the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Powder in the shade 120. I'm pretty much doing this to set in my T-zone area and a little bit underneath of the eye. Just a little bit. Next, I'm gonna move into some bronzing and I'm gonna be using the City Bronzer from Maybelline. This one is in the shade 300. Personally, I love a really, really bronzed look. I just think it looks so healthy, makes you just look so glowy. So I like to just kind of hit my forehead, kind of like the perimeter of my face. I actually decided I'm gonna use a different brush for my cheeks. This is another Morphe one. And this is the M143. This was like my favorite brush for years and years and years. I kind of just always mix it up. I forget how amazing this is for bronzer. So for my blush, I'm gonna be using the Milani Baked Blush in the shade 05, Luminoso, I, or I think it's just called 05, it says Luminoso in the back. So I hit this right on my apples and then work my way back kind of into the bronzer. I find this to instantly brighten up my face and the formula is really nice on this too. It doesn't skip, it's not chalky, really just bomb. Milani is really good stuff. Do not sleep on Milani. So I am gonna be adding a little bit more highlight. This is an old highlight that I've had for maybe five years now. I wanna say, since the, I think I've had this before YouTube, before I started my YouTube channel, and it is the Wet n Wild highlights. I don't know if you guys have ever used these before. They are legit. I don't even know if they're even available anymore. This is the Mega Glow highlight in the shade Blossom Glow. So I'm gonna get this and yes, wet. That's why I was like, I don't know if they still have this anymore. It's just like the finishing touch. Uh, but I am gonna do a little bit of setting. We are not using Laura Mercier. We are using the one and only Airspun. I've never used this. Are you guys shocked? I'm actually a little shocked because this seems to be like an OG product that everybody uses. I finally caved in, I got it. And I don't know, things just might change in my life. We shall see right now. It smells though. You know what it smells you know what it smells like? It smells like old school makeup, like the old school cover girl compact. Remember those? You could smell them. It smells like talco in a way too. So I'm gonna go to bake for a few seconds and I'll be right back.
I just realized that I wasn't recording when I did my under eyes. Pretty much, I just went back in with the palette and used a couple of the shades, blended it, mascara, boom, done. To align my lips, I'm gonna be playing with two lip colors. One of them is the LA Girl Nonstop Nude, and the other one is from the Elf X Nabella collection. And then for my lip color, I'm gonna be going in with the Purely Nude Lipstick from Maybelline. I am obsessed with the whole nude collection. It's so pretty, but this one is like pale pink, but I'm gonna be mixing a lip gloss with it to just kind of balance it all out. It's like literally concealer light, but watch. And lastly, I'm gonna be adding some gloss, and this one is the Ultra Dazzle Gloss from Beauty Creations in the shade Foxy. These are... All right, my loves, that is it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the lavender and the whole look go down. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, comment down below. Also, before you guys leave, be sure to thumbs up which color you wanna see next. So with that being said, los quiero mucho, take care, be safe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah!